Hey guys, Daryl Phillips with U.S. Arms Co. today, and today we're going to be talking about 300 AAC Blackout. One of the the coolest things about 300 Blackout is it was designed to be shot subsonic and suppressed and still give you a, a level of performance that is not available in other cartridges. It started its life back in the 90s as the 300 Whisper and the Advanced Armament Corporation, which is where AAC comes from, actually tweaked the, the case design just a little bit and made it what it is today, it maximized the efficiency of the cartridge. And we just, we wound up with something that a lot of people don't quite understand what the purpose of it's for, what it's really good at, what its drawbacks are. The, the main purpose of it was to have a little bit heavier projectile in the AR-15 platform. It, you can run it up to as high as 21, 2200 feet a second with a lighter projectile, or you can run it down to 900 feet per second with a very heavy projectile, say in the 220 grain range. That would put you running a .308 diameter projectile in an AR-15 platform, imparting a whole lot of energy into a target at closer range with very little recoil and very, very manageable size. Uh, one of the greatest things that, that I like about it is when you run it suppressed, it's just, that's where it just really shines. It, it's built for close quarters combat, very, very effective in that role. In certain configurations, depending on the, the projectile and, and the speed, you can get some decent ranges out of them out to right around 500 meters. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is it wasn't really designed for long range work. It was designed for close in engagement. We want to kind of put a spotlight onto this little guy right here. This is an SBR that we built in house. It's an eight inch barrel and 300 blackout, which is right around where this, to me, where this cartridge really shines is in, in the really shorter configurations. Super effective super lightweight. You can literally take this guy with the law folder and just fold it up and throw it in a backpack. It just, then when you pull it out, lock it in, charge it, you're ready to go to work. Super slick little system. Uh, we're sporting the Swamp Fox Kraken with the Unity Riser. This particular setup is running the uh, Surefire Warden. We do have a suppressor that we're going to be testing this particular weapon system with as well. The reason that we went with the Warden was to protect the flash hider slash QD mount for the Surefire suppressor. It, it's very good. It's also a what is referred to as a, uh, a blast tube. It keeps all of the, the blast forward of you. Really effective. Uh, kind of on the loud side, but you know that's, that's to be expected because it's not a suppressor. At the end of the day, guys, 300 Blackout is highly misunderstood, highly undervalued, and if coming from a law enforcement background, I would have loved to have seen this in the hands of our SWAT operators simply because there's less chance of overpenetration, and if you run them suppressed, you, you run less of a risk of startling the public just in case you get into an engagement with a suspect. And, and there again, that's, that's where it really shines at, is where it just imparts so much energy into the target at lower speeds. We're going to take it out to the range, and you're going to see the difference between the 300 blackout suppressed and 223 suppressed, and you'll notice that the sound report of, of each hitting steel is relatively the same. 
but I want you to keep in, keep in mind that the 223 round is traveling at a speed nearly twice as fast with a smaller projectile. What that means is that you, it, it is smaller, therefore it's dumping less energy into the target or imparting less energy at shorter ranges. The 300 Blackout, that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to impart a lot of energy into a target at short ranges. Stick with us. We're gonna head out to the range and let you see what we got. We're right here at the range today. We're gonna do a little bit of testing on the sound profile of 300 Blackout versus 223 Remington. Uh, we're gonna shoot it, give you an idea of what it sounds like. And then we're also going to give you an idea of what it sounds like hitting steel. But before we get into that, I just want to tell you about the, the rifle that we're going to be using. This is one of our uh, Utah Pros. It is in a cam lock version. It has a three and a half pound competition trigger, has a Swamp Fox uh, Red Dot, Unity Riser, and a Silencer Co. Omega 300 suppressor which is what we'll be testing. It's very, the sound profiles between this and the Silencer Co Omega are, are pretty close. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get started and we're gonna get, get to work. All right, guys, that's 300 blackout. Now we're gonna try a different breed of 300 blackout, a supersonic round. As you can tell, it's pretty quiet. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna shoot 223 Remington to kind of give you an idea as to how it sounds. As you can tell, the sounds are pretty comparable. Uh, the 223 is a little bit louder, simply because it's moving faster. But if you listen to what it sounded like when it was hitting the steel, you could tell that the 300 Blackout was moving a little slower, but it was hitting with what I call a little more authority. Uh, the 223 with the 55 grain, I believe these are hollow points, are running about twice the speed as even the supersonic 300 blackout round so pretty neat little test and we've got some more coming for y'all stay tuned we're about to come out here and, and shoot some steel let you hear what it actually sounds like when it's when it's hitting steel it'll be very close very good uh, audio cue as to how effective this round really is just come on out here and let's take a shot Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. And if you'd like to see more U.S. Arms content, you can click here or here. And we'll also have a link to our channel down below. Come check us out. Take care. See you.